Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It's time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. I certainly did. And uh, I think maybe some interesting things are going to come from the weekend. It, You know, it uh, it actually turned out to be very much of a planning weekend for me this weekend. A lot of... Um, Oh, it's, uh, relaxing, but not relaxing. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's kind of funny. So it it, it really is funny. I, so I kind of looked around yesterday, and Vicky and I were kind of sitting there, and she's working on menus and stuff, which energizes her, and I'm working on plans for you guys, and that energizes me. And so we're both sitting there working, but neither one of us are, like, really stressed out over it. So... Uh, at any rate, that's uh, that was kind of my weekend. I hope that you had a great one. We're off to a marvelous Monday already. So, hey, if you're watching live or watching on the replay, doesn't matter. I'd love it if you'd drop a comment in down there and say hi, say good morning, like Jeremy just did. Hey, Jeremy, thank you so much for being here. So I have a question for you this morning. Uh, question. We'll get to the question in just a minute. So, as a lot of you know, I use my little composition book. I can't. I'll take a picture and show you later. But I've literally got a whole shelf over here um, in my closet full of these things where I've uh, filled them all up. And on the back page of most of them, I write the same poem. And this is the poem from uh, Tecumseh that a lot of people found out about and became kind of popular uh, as a result of the movie uh, Uncommon Valor. It was quoted, most of it was quoted in Uncommon Valor. This particular passage from it is not. It makes it even more valuable. So um, I was reading this this weekend, and that kind of got me to where we want to go today. When you rise in the morning, give thanks for the food and the joy of living. The joy of living. We'll come back to that. If you see no reason for giving thanks, the fault lies only in yourself. Wow, that's good. When you rise in the morning, give thanks for food and the joy of living. If you see no reason for giving thanks, the fault lies only in yourself. Now, I want to combine that with a couple of other quotes. This one is from Eleanor Roosevelt. It says, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. All right, and then uh, this other one that I actually posted to Instagram a couple of months ago, back in May, I'm not sure where it came from, who to, who to give proper attribution to, but it says, don't be upset with people or situations. Both are powerless without your reaction. So what do all three of these quotes have in common? How am I going to tie all this together? Well, just like this, we have a choice. Every day when we get up, we have a choice whether today's going to be a good day, a marvelous Monday, or today's going to be a, oh, it's Monday. Right? Think about that for just a minute. If I'm laying there in the bed and I'm thinking, God, it's Monday. I have so much time. I don't even want to get out of bed. Why would you want to get out of bed? But if you think, on the other hand, wow, it's Monday. I get to do this and this and this. I mean, there are things I've been putting in the book. This weekend, uh, I'm excited to get to do today because, you know, I needed to wait until weekdays to get in touch with people and whatnot. It, it's an exciting, energizing thing. I have a plan to look forward to. Back here on the whiteboard, actually, right there on the whiteboard is the new plan that I'm working on. But anyway, up on the whiteboards is stickies. I've got plans for every day this week. I mean, why not get up and get out of bed? But it is a choice. We have a choice whether to make today great or not. And and I'm going to make tomorrow's installment about the joy of living. There's just too much there to not give it its due. But we can choose to make today a great day. It's a choice, right? And now these other two, you know, nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. Um, and don't be upset with people or circumstances. They're powerless without your reaction. You know, I think about all the people who are just angry all the time. I mean, 
we know that that has deleterious effects on our uh, physical well-being. We know it has deleterious effects on our mental well-being. We also don't get diddly squat done. I'm just mad all the time. In, in relationships, who wants to be around me if I'm mad all the time? You can't be offended. You can't be upset. You can't be made to feel inferior if you choose to rise above that. Right? That's all. And um, it's funny because I was writing all this and our, um, uh, our pastor at church this weekend was talking about making these choices. Right? And how, yes, it can be considered an offense. Uh, take this for what it's worth. Yes, it can be considered an offense to be slapped in the face, but you can choose how to respond to that offense. And, and I think about that all the time, about these people that get mad because somebody else disrespected me. That's their problem, not yours. So when you think about how you're going to start your day and you think about the progress you're going to make this week, it's all a choice. We have all the power we need to make anything we want come true. I'll say that again. I am committed to that. We have all the power we need to make anything we want come true. All we have to do is choose to do it. That's it. It's that simple. All right. So today, question for you. How are you going to choose to make today a marvelous Monday? All right. What do you do? What's the choices that you have to make? To make the day a great day. So good stuff coming up this week. I hope I've got. So here's the question that I have for you today. Right after this sip of coffee brought to you by Crimson Tide of Alabama. Who won again this weekend? Anyway, question for you uh, is this. I want to create content that is helpful for you. So. What are the questions? What are the concerns? What are the topics that you would like for me to address? You can either send me a message, send me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com, or leave them in the comments right down there. I'm looking for your input. I want to make sure that we are covering the topics that you want to hear about. So leave me a comment down there. Send me a message. Let me know what you want me to talk about, uh, wh where you want me to take some of this. I'm, I've got a rough plan here put together probably through the end of the year. Um, but I can adjust that. I definitely can adjust that. So let me know that down in the comments as well. I want you to have a magnificent Monday. Remember, also tell me what choices are you making today to make today a magnificent Monday. I'll be back again tomorrow with a Tuesday installment. Seven minutes in the morning. You be sure to join me then. Until then, you have a great day. I'll talk to you in the morning.